Time to get the robots in the water. Our autonomous underwater vehicle has sonar that allows us to progressively explore further and in greater detail. It's the difference between sort of seeing the Grand Canyon from a plane versus actually walking down on the trails. 14.8 meters, altitude 3.23, that's, that's exactly what we wanted to be doing. And then finally, the last little piece is to go in with a remotely operated vehicle. Flash, we're on. Basically, an underwater drone gives us a live feed of what's going on. It's not just sand. We're seeing rocks. We're seeing boulders. The underwater scene is complex. It's very uh, non-homogeneous. It's like we're in a sandstorm here. It's bringing with it little bits of kelp and algae and plankton. Whoa, there goes a big chunk of algae across. Well, you can tell how strong it is against it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> trying my best to get you like a smooth <laughs> picture here. I'm sorry. The environment here is more turbulent than we had realized.